just coming in from a Saturday night on the streets in Arizona. It was a good night, exhausting night. And my thoughts, we were created to rule and reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. Sin did reign through death. But now we reign through grace in righteousness. Romans 5.17, they that receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign as kings in life through the one Jesus Christ. Man, you know that's true. According to your faith, that's the way you're living. According to your belief, your life is manifesting. Um, we need to learn how to really understand what Jesus accomplished on the cross. He uh, restored us to reigning in life. It's a complete restoration to royalty, to ruling, to reigning over our appetites, over depression, over sickness, over death, over disease, over, me over mental illness, over addictions, over depression, over obsession, over uh, addiction to me to, to entertain entertainment. Um, Jesus set us free from the struggle, from poverty, from lack, from selfishness, from fear, from greed, from covetousness, from lust. Reigning in life is normal from God's perspective. That's what he expects but it's because he, he forged a way through his son's own blood for us to live here. That's the way I live. That's the only thing acceptable to me is ruling and reigning in life. That's to be a light of the world <clears throat> because lights shine. Lights have no needs. There's no depression, there's no poverty, there's no sickness. They stand out amongst the darkness. The world is darkness, but here it's light. Here it's victory. Here it's shameless, guiltless, no condemnation. Here it's joy, here it's bliss, here it's pure satisfaction. That's why I'm about to go pound 200 push-ups with a 42 and a half pound vest. This is why. I've been able to accomplish what no man has with the Murph workout, 1,185 consecutive days, powered by grace, a full Murph workout with a 20 pound vest at least, all from the revelation that grace has poured into me, the revelation of who I am as a warrior, who I am as a son of God, who I am as accepted, as satisfied, that I don't need to do the Murph 1,185 days to be accepted or satisfied. I do it from satisfaction. I do it from an identity. I do it because it's who I am to do it. And so there's also actions that lead to prosperity. There's actions that I'm taking right now that are leading me to the wealth that God destined me for. I'm not after the wealth, I'm after the person that has processes and daily standards that produce wealth. I'm after the habits, I'm after the standards, I'm after the understanding of God in the spirit realm of <clears throat> who I am, what I'm worth, and as a result of who I am and what I'm worth, the standards that I live by, <clears throat> standards of service, standards of surrender, standards of caring, standards of generosity, Standards of bringing wisdom, knowledge, and intelligence that are that is divine, that is unique to the world, to my fellow humanity, and it's going to be worth. It's priceless compared to the price that they're paying me to have that wealth and that wisdom. Why? Because it's transformative from the soul to the body to the finance. It's life-changing. My house of ruling and reigning is the only acceptable thing because of the preciousness of the price that was paid for us to have that and to be that and to represent. In the short few days we have on earth, it's all about representing, 
the King of creation well, my Lord and King, of whom I am a royal son. I'm standing in my place that was paid for me to stand in, the place of peace, joy, satisfaction, righteousness, victory over sin, death, and hell. That it ultimately his covenant be established, that his grace be spread abroad, that his love be well known, that his message be made clear and succinct through my lips, exact through my life, that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am a warrior. I am a royal servant. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am prosperous beyond measure, spiritually, bodily, financially. The whole package is mine. I'm representing it. I'm standing in it. There's no um, negotiating this. That there will be a lifestyle shown forth from believing and receiving the truth. There's a wealth in the abundance of grace. The grace prepares the person to handle the manifestation. He prepares an identity to handle your destiny. He puts you in a position spiritually and in the soul realm whereby he's adding unto you all things and those things are never a threat to this vertical relationship because they are the produce of what's happening here. So I am following the order of God. Seek first the kingdom and his righteousness. I'm just after him. I'm after him. And as I am, and I'm getting more of a clarity of who I am as a warrior, my physique is transforming. You're seeing the warrior manifest in front of you. You're going to see the financial royal son of God manifest in front of you. Those who tune in and those who, those who come and draw near, it's going to get on you too. You will not be able to help but prosper. Get free of your vices. Just through association with me, just through this relationship, God is going to pour on you a blessing, pour on you a power, a revelation, and an understanding, whereby He's the source, not me. He's the source of this knowledge, of this truth, of this wisdom, and by His power, by the power of grace, you will be set free of vices, you will establish a clear understanding of your identity, of your value. And therefore, your daily standards will be set just like mine. I'm training three times a day. I'm praying throughout the day, rejoicing always, giving thanks in every circumstance. I am in a life of devotion. I'm eating cleanly, taking care of this temple, feeding it nutrients that keep my head clear and this whatever nutrients I need, I'm getting, but not to the place where it's going to it's not messing with this, this vertical alignment and this, I need, I'm receptive to heaven, the voice of God. Nothing is going to be able to block the receptivity to heaven, heaven's voice, God's voice. So yeah, stay tuned. It's going to get exciting because God's will is being done on earth as it is in heaven. And we're going to revolutionize. I see Arizona being a place of prosperity. Why not Arizona as it is in Miami? Why not here as it is in heaven? Why not here? Um, overall, there's a pervading sense of hopelessness out here. There's not a lot of confidence, not a lot of health, not a lot of wealth. We're here to change that by the grace of God. Through the awareness of the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and the way that has been forged for us to rule and reign in life, it's not normal to live the less than life. It's not acceptable, and I'm not negotiating the level at which you should be living every day. As I'm showing you on Instagram, I'm showing you what's normal. And I'm forging my way into God's normal. The price that has been paid, I'm doing it through receiving this abundant grace I may be rambling on, but it's 
I think it's very simple. It's not a life of achieving. It's a life of receiving. And from what you receive, you become who you are. And through becoming who you are, you end up setting standards for life through which actions flow and a destiny is revealed. A destiny is revealed. What heaven has destined is revealed as I embrace in the spirit realm who I am as this royal son of God, as this warrior of God, as this righteous man of God, this non-negotiable child of God, the one with whom he is pleased, the one whom he loves. It's for you. So take it, take it, take what is yours. The kingdom of heaven suffers violent, but the violent take it by force. Take it by force. Let's go, baby.